Welcome to BEWA's Road to Madness 5! Ladies and gentlemen, we're here the fifth annual Road to Madness. I'm your favorite commentator, Ryan Zane. I, I, oh no, we're already starting on a bad note. We hear that familiar music. Oh, snap. It is signs of a genocide coming to introduce themselves. Well, you know, you know that whenever they're coming out, they're up to no good. Nothing positive is going to happen from them. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, positive happens when you're coming out with the HIV check. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, especially it's what happened at the last show. Oh, look at All this right. guy. We got Chris Vaughn with the Extreme Championship. <laughs> he has that sick 84 on his forehead. Down there in the amount of days he believes the BWA has left. All right. Look, they got Flatline, one of the newest members. And now they got XNC, the newest BEWA champion. And let's not forget the way he won it was down, downright was despicable. They screwed Raphael out of the boat on Rice Clock. They screwed DJ Carl at BWA Championship. Just the name XNC, quote unquote, king of the BWA. But you know, I don't even know what was more shocking. The fact that this happened or the fact that members of the genocide bowed to him. Yeah, they all knelt before the king of the BWA. Stop the plane, my ass, Mr. XNC. But did you notice that one of them was a little, you know, hesitant at first? But they all, when it was all said, none of them all knelt before the kill. I don't know. Let's see what I got to say. But like I said, it can't be good. Can't be good. They're missing Jason G and Eric Hayes and Kid Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Oh, oh, Chris Rama, counting I'm, down the days. I'm at to look for a new job, man. Mm. We're sitting here two weeks ago for the events of chaos and warfare. Oh, How many of you people saw Marcus Ruin get what he deserves? Marcus Ruin was screwed out. He had a continental and a stream championship all on the same night. Yeah, that happened. Raphael, get what he deserves. I don't know. I don't know. Raphael may have deserved that one. He might be a bastard, but no one deserves to get screwed like that. 2013 Eclipse match yeah. win. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I mean, you think about Raphael's rap sheet. It ain't all that positive. I mean, it's a face. It's been a string of betrayal with him. But well, you got to admit that Raphael might have been the lesser of two evils in that situation. Yeah. What they deserve. And the table has been set. Here we go. Destroy Pierce Ashton later today. Yeah, yeah she's definitely on the main streak this, this day and age. Yeah, she's got a little cycle, she got a little violet in her. Kid oh. Taylor will defeat Samuel Masters. Well, if you show uh, well, Kid Taylor must be in a limousine on the way here. One of them will earn a top title shot after they destroy Raphael and leave you hard. Favorite four way going down tonight for a top title stand at Central, ladies and gentlemen. Good, it's great. Rolling Havoc will put down that stupid redneck once and for all in a last man standing match. Mm. That's going to be interesting to see. It's hard, to say, it's hard to say who's the favorite because Rolling Havoc just lost a street fight. He might be on a trial for some vengeance. Carter, atoning for his two down world losses, defending the beat of and keeping it with genocide. Oh man. But on top of all that, primetime Jason James, not pictures, will defeat DT Gray and become the new world heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our main event for tonight. The World Heavyweight Championship match between Primetime Jason G and DT Gray, who have a long history of robbery. They do, going back to Triangle. And up to now, it's going to be crazy. This might be the first time for a top title. Cut by DJ Carter, Marcus Rowan, Raphael, and Samuel Masters from of all people. It's a promotional video. Thank you. Try to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually you say promo, but he had to go all out and extend In the word. In this video, you had four guys. 
come up with some sort of agreement to watch each other's backs against genocide. I don't know what you're doing. You got Raphael talking nice talk to DJ. Who actually buys that? All of you saw that. I got French DJ and Raphael kept jumping up and down saying he was about to become the BWA champion on a genocide dime. Then here he is, less than two weeks later, kissing the ass of the man he intended to script. Well, that's how you start. Well, you yeah, got even more so. Then you got Marcus throwing the goddamn cheerleader of the whole group. <laughs> and then you got Samuel Masters, who in true Masters form, he wasn't really friendly to the other ones, but he too acknowledges the threat of genocide. And apparently, he wants backup for Kit Taylor later tonight. Can't say I played him. So, if this is your so-called group your resistance, in 84 days, they can't stop what's coming. None of you can stop what's coming. Mark Williams just come back? They're going to DCW for all I care. Q Stars, you just won the Intercontinental title on a fluke that I provided? You can go drop it to Crucifix next year. Because the Dang. I'm going to get my resume typed up tonight. Um, I got some 401k, so if it all goes down, I can... Oh, snap. That looks like a pissed off woman. Maybe Genocide has no thoughts. Well, Not ahead. about Chris Bomber. You're the last day standing match with the Pasadena Redneck himself, oh, Christopher Stone. Fantastic. Any thoughts? <laughs> That's it, just a laugh. All right, oh. apparently you all wow. know. Genocide is interestingly silent see. tonight. Plenty of time to speak his piece, so yeah. please sit up. Of course, that can see him say something. You get, get that man any kind of screen time, he will talk. So I was loud. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be on commercial break and come back and we'll still be talking. Everything you put in the context. I like how you all do me. I like if you're sorry for DJ Carter. I don't care about him. We want Oh, we want who? That's how much you love him. We can't even clap for him all the fucking way. I don't have enough time. Raphael tried to do. Raphael turned his back on DJ, then he goes to kiss his ass. I told DJ, as long as he was in Rugby, no harm will come to him. Raphael had other plans. He thought about himself. Just like his brother, he uh, can't do anything to fuck him. Uh, Basically, you were all shocked when they all kneeled. That was just show. That's fucking for nothing. Not nothing. They don't have to say that word. Why not? Don't think that you're going to have. This man, the legend, rolling with havoc, just kneel before me every Why would you kneel? That's not gonna happen. If anything, I would kneel to them. That's what true king does. He watches people. Except for any of you, because none of you fucking matter. Did you say good people like that? And then as for this whole truth thing, uh, yeah, let's go with the truth. The brotherhood of the collective jock track. I have beaten each and every one of their asses one way or another. I don't fear the man that can't talk, the man that can't catch an opportunity, the man that thinks he's too good for anyone else, and the man that's so overly faced, he thinks he's Jesus. He's not. The point of things is oh, so tonight, the time to the when you all hear fan, one, two, three, is that <laughs> I will hear something different. Genocide will hear something different as 84 days count down, and I kneel before the world, you will hear, I I am king of the world. Are you done? Is he done? Wow. Yeah. 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 That's right. We appreciate your love with the great years. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to have the first match of the day. And it is the final first round match of the 2013.
2014 Ascension Tournament. Let me introduce at this time, Marcus Ruiz! Oh boy, Marcus Rowan, put a smirk on his face. Hey, where's your belt? I don't know about the smirking right now. I mean, considering there are, you know, six members of the genocide in that ring right now. Here we go. Marcus Rowan is smarter than he is brave. He would not step in the ring with those guys. Follow his signature clock there. No, ladies and gentlemen, we're not talking about chlamydia. We're talking about a real clock. Don Aria, I know. I know. I know. It's Don Aria. Don't ask me how I know. As long as you got the shot, I don't care how you know. Let's see, there's one night in Amsterdam. Oh my gosh. 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 Coming off a great, a great attempt at the BWA championship last few weeks ago, you know, whatever. Eddie Brooks! Alright, I hope these two men have a plan. I, mean, I don't even know if they're going to be able to start a matchup now. Now I think about it. I, mean, I, don't think, I don't really think the Central Tournament as of right now really concerns the genocide. So they might let this one go. You never know. They would love nothing more but the two people who agreed to make a truce to tear each other to shreds. So it might be a genocide's best interest just to leave this one alone. Perhaps. Eddie Brooks and Marcus Rowan, we're going to be nice. We're going to let you have your match and we're not going to interfere in it. We have no reason to. Whoever okay, I guess you're right. The two of you wrestles flatline in the second round until we stop. Now, as to say if we'll interfere in that match or not, that's a whole different story. As a referee, one fall, make it happen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Genocide so decided to let this one go as one would have predicted. You know, everybody in the Genocide has big matches tonight, so they're going to let this one kind of fly. But right now, the final first round tournament of the of the Ascension I'm tournament, I mean. But it's starting, the bell has been rung. Referee didn't check either opponent, but I'm pretty sure you can trust these guys after this match. Both of them right, making right. sure Genocide leaves. Of course, you got to look at this. I mean, both of them have a pretty unique style. Both of them are pretty quick. Uh, I would say Marcus Rowan may be a little bit on the more technical side of, of, of the game. And he's also a little bit stronger, too. But Eddie Brooks has nothing but heart. Definitely going to be an interesting contest. I don't know. Eddie Brooks showed a good technical prowess against DJ Carlos. But even in the losing effort, showed he had some moves in his arsenal. That is, you are correct. Uh, go to the uh, Roman wrist lock because Marcus Rowan. Mm. All right. Well, you know one thing, cause I'm pre I know that Marcus Ruin doesn't, doesn't want to hurt Eddie Brooks. I know that Marcus Ruin and Eddie Brooks have definitely developed a camaraderie, a friendship, if you will, throughout this whole genocide, you know, um, you know, takeover of, of everything. But at the same time, both of them are going to have to inflict pain on each other in order to win this, this match. Oh, very, very true. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to remind you that this match is brought to you by the 80s. Champions get bigger. All the challengers explode. Uh, goes back to the wrist like does Marcus Whoa. Going with some good old fashioned wrestling. Only found here to get that way. Oh, oh, Eddie Brooks, oh, oh and a flip. Sweet. Going to cover. Oh, almost a near cover. Not Both even a one the match. <laughs> All right, looks like Marcus Rowan seems to like it. <laughs> one thing you can never do with Eddie Brooks is you can never sleep on this cat. All right, Marcus Rowan trying to get the fans going in this matchup here. Going oh, for the collar, will tie up. Oh, go for a headlock there. All right, looks like look like Mark Drew can definitely lock him down right here. Control the head. Just like a snake, baby. You control the head, you control the body. That is so true. Considering that the head is the heaviest part of the body. 
Oh, look, 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 Eddie Brooks, maybe you got to get, you got to arm up, got to oh, arm up. Oh, put him in the hell out of the zone. Oh, no. We're going back and forth with some good fashion. Go fast and rest him. We found here in the BWA. All right, Marvin's going to do something real quick right here. Or else he's going to lose consciousness. Okay, he's trying to work the arm, trying to break the headlock there. Oh, Eddie Brooks wrenches. That's how you keep a headlock going. He's been studying his tape. He's been watching Dean. He's been watching Kurt. He's been watching Brett. He's been watching all the greats use their headlocks. Only in the BWA. Alright, looks like he's getting him out the road. Oh, oh, on. So he stopped the momentum. He's got it locked in right here. I don't know. They marked through and might be falling out he soon. soon. Be, he might be in trouble quick and fast in the hurry. Oh, Marcus wrong with his right. shot to the lower back. Look like hitting the kidneys. Oh, I just pushed him right back in the headlock. They are going with the bases. They're going with Brockman to the dance. So, wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Good old fashioned wrestling. We brought both these men to the dance. Oh, I take down my Marcus oh, Roy. Wow. All right, Let's on the ground. All right, Eddie Brooks has some arms up. So got the arms up. It ain't necessarily. If, oh, okay. He's aware of where he is. Eddie right. Brooks can be in trouble now. Oh, Marcus Roy wrenches the head. Oh, oh wow. He's clapping down. This is like two pit bulls from fighting each other, man. You would think Marcus... Black jaws and everything. I'll have to agree with you. Marcus Rowan has the strength and value. Right. They're both from... Oh! All right. Put him in the head scissors here. Marcus Rowan's locked in it. Oh! He goes over. Goes for one. Two. Oh, my God. This is near for... Oh. There he is. Eddie Brooks still in control of Marcus Rowan, though. Got him in the front face lock there. And goes back to the head lock. That's Eddie Brooks. Oh, man. I haven't seen this much headlock since I made that one big guy. <laughs> oh, he broke the Yeah, that was good to see it. Oh, and a hit toss by Marcus Lewis. <laughs> All right, let's see what else he's going to do right here. All right, looks like he's got. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, what's the kind of guy with Smith? Oh, strong shoulder block by Marcus Lewis. Oh, the countdown. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Drops! Drops ruin on his head and shoulder! Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you this match is also brought to you by Trojan Magnum. Anything less is unprofessional. That is so true. Hey, so true. Oh, yeah, I'm Oh, I'm Near fall again. If Marcus, Brooks. if Marcus Ruin had no, if, he, if you know, if he just slipped up this one little tent chance, that third second would have came down on. Yeah, yeah. Something in the air must have woke Marcus Ruin up at the last second. Hey, Brooks got him in the corner now. Oh, stop the mid second. Oh, stop. Hey, Brooks got a little mystery going right here. Referee, hey man, that's what it's five. that's what it's gonna take. He's gonna take a mean streak. They're going to win this match. Oh, I mean, we're talking we talk about flip. Oh, oh, that knee to the face. His chin did not appreciate that. Oh, good old fashioned bulldog. Going to cover one, two, and another near ball. Eddie Bush gets the shoulder up. Ladies and gentlemen, without genocide and appearance, this could turn out to be a great wrestling match between two good champions, or at least former champions. Right. All right, see what's going to happen. It looks like he's setting him up for some type of suplex. <laughs> All right, Eddie Brooks is countering. Brooks trying to make sure he's holding on to the ties, make sure he doesn't go over. Oh, All right. for a knee to the gut. All right, another, another one. one. Okay. See what's going to happen here. I mean, they're both. Whoa, now Marcus Ruin with the counter. And then he does it again. Locks the legs so he can't lift them up. Oh. And he gets on the knee to the gut. They're going back and forth there. Here it is. Oh, I got a German suplex by Marcus Ruin. Eddie Brooks may be in trouble here. Not too many men get up from German suplexes nowadays, especially in the BWA. Oh, more than light suplex. Oh. Eddie Brooks just got the shoulder. He used all the momentum he had left to kick out of that, my ladies and gentlemen. All right. They're going to have to turn it up a notch. Definitely. All right, let's see what he's going to do here. All right, got him in the corner. Oh, 
Ten. I don't care what size you want. Oh, no. He changes up a little bulldog to make it over the cover one. Yo, at the count of two, Marcus Horns gets the shoulder up. I expect to start seeing more strikes as the match goes. Right. That'll do it. All Bob right, let's see. Hooks him up. This looks like it might be a signature snap. Two questions. One it is. Right, All right. To the cover. Leaping into position to get the count, but, Eddie, but Marcus Warren still got the shoulder up. Mm. Oh! Oh, and a knee to oh, the face. The face. That's going to hurt anybody. Oh, damn! All right, let's see. Oh, hooks him up again. Whoa! He's twisting. Whoa! He must have played after the split. Whoa! And another. Eddie Brooks is going for the three amigos. Shout out to the late and great Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Oh, no, look, 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 Mark, look, might be on the counter. Eddie Brooks, I don't think he has the strength to get the third one. Then that strength, does he have the strength? Oh, he stalled for the last one, showing a little bit of strength to his part. Goes to the counter one. Two. Marcus Horn gets the shoulder up again. Ladies and gentlemen, another sponsor of this show is my Badger Sale. Because just like Subway, men like to eat fresh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Brooks in control of this match. <laughs> That's right, ladies. Keep it clean. Keep it clean, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I say gentlemen, too, because if you know it's your woman is fucking you, you should be saying to yourself, you have the right to tell her. But we're getting off subject. Back to this match. Oh, the oh shot to the chest. Man, that will take the air out of your chest. Oh, like nothing else chest. will. Well, if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, dark skin people don't turn red, they turn purple. And if you can't see it on your chest because you don't have HD television in your living room, Jeff. Oh my god. Oh, the knee to the gut. Another one. Front face lock, hit up again. Jump in, suplex. What? Well, referee checking the shoulder. Shoulder was up. Great call by the referee. <laughs> Eddie Brooks is showing some frustration here. He probably felt like he was screwed out of a possible three count fall, but the ref was right on that when the left shoulder on Marcus Warren was up. Yeah, when you're the ref, you gotta make the tough calls. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, working on the arm there. You know what? This is an effective tactic. Because honestly, if a man has the arms, he can't wrestle anymore. I don't know. Marcus Warren still has that trouble in paradise finish. And you don't need your arms to pull that off. Yeah, but I don't even think about this. Ain't about the balance that it takes, you know, to, to execute. You kind of need your arms. Hey, I saw a man wrestle with one leg. It's possible for a man to wrestle with no arms. Yeah, but he didn't have a good career, though. He has a win over Big Show. How is that not a good career? Brooklyn Barla beat Triple H. Zach Gowan beat Big Show. I believe Marcus Warren can lose both his arms right now and still be Eddie Brooks. All right. Well, anyway. But if he lost both his arms right now, that would be a little confusing and concerning. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh arm broke. bar. He almost broke it right there. Oh, Eddie Brooks, he was wide. Marcus Warren so close to the ropes. Marcus Warren is trying to close his hands, but the ropes are right there. Yeah, I'm going to keep I'm grabbing All right, he grabbed him. Right, right. You would think as long as Marcus Warren, Marcus Warren has the experience of that, you would think you know where he was in the ring. I know. You know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be artistic when getting out of, out of submission. The main thing is to get out of them quickly. If a rope break is going to do it, you do it. Well, good old punch to the groin. Yeah, as long as the ref doesn't see it. Uh, he does. Most of the refs in this company are blind anyway. I see people get hit with chairs and I get disqualified. Well, I mean, it's all part of the game. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to win. You know, it's it's, it's a doggy dog world out there. I thought you knew that. Survival of the fittest. If you ain't fit, you die. Whoa, steps on back. Oh, two plus. Oh, picks him up. Hey, he holds on. Get another one. Oh, holds on again. Oh, my God. Oh, Eddie Brooks, oh, Eddie Brooks, Eddie Brooks goes to the ring, oh, gets him in it, he goes up, oh, my God, oh, my God, Arnold will hurt worse, Eddie Brooks is head and neck on Marcus Rowan's shoulder, but both men are down, the referee has started to count. Three, 
Alright. Oh, snap. Yeah, they definitely, yeah, they definitely turned this up. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, if you think about it, at the beginning of the match, they really didn't want to try to hurt each other at all. But you know what? But now, they got that spirit of competition. They both want to ascend oh, in the Ascension hey, Tournament. In the oh, my God! Is it about? Oh, my God! Oh! The head, belly, the belly, suplex! That just might be it. Can Marcus ruin? Muster up the strength and put the pin on Mar on Eddie Brooks. That took a lot of effort. You see, even he's breathing heavy after that one. This is a golden opportunity. I like gold. this ref. The ref has been on point the entire match. It, no matter who wins or loses, no one feels screwed. The referee must let them go during this match and stick to the rules. Go for the cover. One, two. Again, see if he got it sooner, he went probably would have won the match. Okay, oh, that's true because that. Eddie Brooks was out for a long, long time. More than enough time to catch his breath. Eddie Brooks, oh, with a drop to hold. Oh no, what's he doing? He's setting him up. Follow. Oh, Mark is ruined. Whoa! Buster. Mark is ruined. I don't know, I think he wants Eddie Brooks to get up. But I don't think Eddie Brooks, I think Eddie Brooks' lumbar, I think he might snap the vertebrae inside of it. <laughs> Eddie Brooks is thick as a Slim Jim. Oh, snap. He's, oh, oh, oh no. He's getting tired of it. Oh. No, no, no. It's him up. Go on the hooks. Oh, Marcus Rowe fights on it. Oh, that's rolling. Very oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Going up one, two, three. Whoa. Marcus to the, to the next round of the Ascension Tournament. The quarterfinal of the Ascension Tournament. What a, what a hard fought battle. Thank God Genocide did not interfere in this one. They just let these guys go, let these warriors go, and they put on a great performance. What a way to start off Road of Madness 5. And if Genocide has their way, the last Road of Madness. Yeah. Which is why I'm getting my resume tracked up tonight. I'm gonna get yo. Well, I'm good. I invested my 401k in the lottery tickets. So no matter what happens, I'll be ready to Hey man, I had a picture plan, man. My picture plan is gonna be gone. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the street. Alright, look, they got the hug and solidarity. The sportsman shit. Alright. See what's gonna happen here. Congratulations. Shut up! And I'll be shaking your hand again. No one And this is the second tournament. It was either me or you. It was a shame I had to face you in the first round. Sorry, man. Sorry. You just make sure you win the whole fucking thing. Woo! Eddie Bush was Marcus Warren. So win the Ascension Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Warren with a great song and a great victory over the former BBWA champion. And ladies and gentlemen, give him the crowd some love. The crowd. I think the crowd is finally getting behind Marcus Warren. He's going to fight. He is going to step it up for the Ascension Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more of Rosa Madness 5.